because there are going to be a lot of animals headed this way. Whoa! You okay, Chris? I'm okay. <laughs> know how we know? Creature poop. That's a sure sign that animals are around. Also, spring's here, winter's over. And a lot of animals sleep through the winter, right? Like black bears, who are so hungry when they wake up, don't even eat grass. Talk about hungry creatures. Where's Zabu? Let's call him. Like we're hungry bears. Zabu. Arr. Come on and help us. Zabu. Zabu. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Hi, buddy. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Come on. Time for your snack. Zabu's such a good buddy. Right, Tom? You know Zabu. He likes to have a snack before he talks. Let's see what we've got. Yeah. Zabu, cucumber. Yum. Job. Oh, hey, Martin. What's going on? On my way here, I saw animals everywhere. I saw big ones with little ones. They look the same. Why, yeah. Lots of animals have babies in the spring. I don't see spring. Where's spring? <laughs> Spring's everywhere. When winter's over, everything warms up. That's spring. And that's when many animals have babies. Cats have kittens. Prairie dogs have pups. Sheep have lambs. Horses have bowls. Hey, Mangatsika, I just reminded myself. I saw the most amazing animal. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this <laughs> mystery? <laughs> she had bird feet. And she wasn't alone. <laughs> Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Pongatska. Pongatska. Animal. They bobbled their heads. Clucking, head bobbling bird creature. Do you know who she is? Okay. Wobble and a bobble. She makes a cluck cluck sound. I know who the mystery animal is. Do you know who she is? I know you know this one. <laughs> yeah, a chicken. Not only one, we have chickens. Did you sleep all winter? Chickens sleep every night, Zob. Just like we do. Hmm. But I think you're right. Right now, they're just hungry. Hey, let's eat like chickens. 
Okay, peck with your beak. Ow! Oh, <laughs> hurt my nose. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Let's try again, Chris. Okay, Zob. <laughs> <laughs> You all right? Yeah. I think we need beaks. Yeah. Chickens have great beaks for getting food off the ground. Food like tiny little seeds. Hey, see that wobbly red thing on her head? That's called a comb. Hey, you want to make chicken sounds? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> the chickens are strutting their stuff. Let's do the chicken walk. I think I'm getting it. Sort of. This is hard for Lemur. Way to go, Zob! When you walk like a chicken, you have to stick your neck out back and forth. Martin, Chris, everybody, come here! Look, why is she sitting on those bumpy rocks? Those are eggs, Zob. She sits on her eggs to keep them warm. By keeping them warm, she makes them hatch. Hatch? Hatch? What's hatch? Hatch is when the babies break out of the eggs. Hey, waiting for eggs to hatch is making her itchy. <laughs> She's not itchy. She's plucking feathers out of her beak to make her nest warmer and more comfortable for the eggs. There are little baby chicks inside those eggs. They stay inside until they're ready to hatch. And they have to stay nice and warm to hatch. So where's the mother going? Good question. <gasps> of course. That's a Rhode Island red chicken. They lay brown eggs. And those eggs are white. So she didn't lay those eggs, and she's not the mother, but who's gonna keep them warm? <sighs> I'll warm the eggs. I'll help them hatch. <laughs> oh, these eggs sure feel funny. They're bumpy on my bottom. <laughs> oh, you're the bumpy one. Look at this. Hmm? These eggs are all the same. Oh, yeah. They're chicken eggs, but that one's different. Wow. Who could it be? I don't know. Let's see, there's a lot of animals who lay eggs, right? So it could be a... Uh... A seagull egg! No, but they're smaller and speckled. It can't be a seagull egg. What about a snake egg? Did you know that most snakes lay eggs? And snake eggs are white and about the same shape. Could be a snake egg. Could be. But I know it can't be a snapping turtle egg because she lays her eggs in the sand and her eggs look like little ping pong balls. But that's only the beginning. There are so many other creatures who lay eggs. So whose egg is it? Don't know. Maybe we have to wait and see what hatches. Hatch, hatch. What's it like to be in an egg? Well, Zob, it's pretty squishy and gooey in here. <laughs> What's Chris doing inside that egg? What, Chris? It's pretty squishy and gooey in here. Whoa. Chris! You gotta speak louder. We can hardly hear you from inside that egg. I said, it's pretty squishy and gooey oh, in oh, here. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is some egg. One thing about being in an egg is it's pretty cozy and safe in here, but it's really hard to see. Where is everybody? I got in here, but how am I gonna get out? Can you believe there's a little chick curled up inside here? Whoa. Hmm. It's so hard, how can they breathe? Well, the eggshell has little air holes called pores that let the air in so the chicks can breathe inside the egg. Hey, you know that yellow ball inside an egg? That's called a yolk. 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 And the yolk is the food that the chicks eat so that they can get big and strong enough to break out of these eggshells. Wow. Exactly. If you're going to be in an egg for a while, you need something to munch on. And I've got food in here, too. Pizza! <laughs> Chris made a yolk! Chris made a yolk! Yep, and it's time for me to hatch out of this egg. Ah. Ah. The chicks want out too. A chick has an egg tooth on the tip of her beak. And with that egg tooth, she starts tapping at the inside of the shell. And soon, she makes a crack, and then she can start breaking out. Wow, she's hatching. That egg tooth really works. It's a good thing I have my pickaxe. I can use this just like a chick uses an egg tooth. Chris is hatching. Hatch, hatch.
hatch. He's out. Oh, These oh. eggs are cracking, too. Oh, hatch, hatch. More hatching. I can't believe my mind. It's happening. Chris is hatching, and the eggs are hatching, too. Chris and the eggs are hatching together. Hurry up, Chris. Yeah, you don't want to miss this. I know, but getting out of here isn't as easy as it looks. I gotta hurry up. I don't want to miss those chicks hatching. Come on, Chris. You can do it. Ah. Hurry up, Chris. The eggs are hatching. There's got to be a better way. Those chicks are going to hatch, and I don't want to miss this. Wake's up. Check it out. Huh? Look at her. Oh, she's coming out. Her head's pushing out. Go, Chick, go. Oh, come on. Oh. Push harder. She's almost out. You can make it. Yeah. <laughs> she's, uh, she's making her way out. She hatched. She did it. Welcome to the creature world. Uh, 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 Chris did it too. He hatched. Finally. I made it. Hurry, Chris. The rest of the chicks are hatching now. Wow. Way to go, chicks. <laughs> we did it. They're all gooey and wet, like Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but soon they'll dry off, and then they'll be super fluffy, like those two. But those eggs are still hatching, like the egg that hatched in Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I landed on a huge rock. But it wasn't a rock. It was an egg, and it cracked. Oh, my mind got a great idea. I could fix the egg with some Zabulan tree sap. So I got some. Oh, it's very gooey. <laughs> and I put it on the egg. But the egg kept cracking and oh, cracking and cracking and cracking and whoa! <laughs> Zingo! Has baby Zabumafuasaurus. <laughs> Mommy? <laughs> me? I'm not your mommy. Oh, you help me find my mommy? So I said, sure. And we went to find his mommy. On the way, baby Zabumafuasaurus kept saying, oh, Where is she? Where's my mommy? Until suddenly, oof! I hit a huge leg. Here's your mom. <laughs> mommy! <laughs> baby. So we hopped on board and had a nice ride home. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Manga, Sika. All the chicks are hatched and fluffy now. <laughs> Listen to them. Cheep, 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 cheep. Make the chick sound. Cheep, 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 cheep. Look how they're picking at the straw already, Sabu. Oh, yeah. He finished his yolk, and now he's looking for something else to eat. They're getting pretty adventurous already. They're starting to leave the nest. Where are you going? They're already starting to explore. There they go. Come on. All right. Come on, guy. Come on, chicks. Follow me. I'm a leaping lemur. I think they like me, Martin. I think the chicks think Zabu is their mom. That's me, I'm a chick's mom. I feel different and not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel chickenish, how about you? Chickenish! I feel chickenish! <laughs> what? Chickenish! This way! I'm a big mama chicken, all the chicks will follow me! are adventurous, but they're not very good climbers. <laughs> hey, I need a snack. It's hard to be a chick's mom. Oh, the chicks look hungry. I'll get them some food, too. <laughs> I have to be their mom, because she's not here. Rhino? No, that's not it. Bear? No, that's not it, either. <sighs> Chick. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, I guess it's broken again. Well, maybe it's empty. Hmm. No, I think it's empty. Oh, oh, oh. Supper time! 
Hey, Zob, hmm? what's it like being mom to all these chicks? Oh, it's a fluffy job, but somebody's got to do it. I can do it as long as their real mom isn't here. But where is she? There she is, the mom. She's a shaver chicken, and she lays white eggs. Hi, mom chicken. Oh, now that she's here, I can take a nap. Sob was a great chicken mom, but now the chicks have the real mom to follow. There goes the family. Uh, uh, everybody up? My chicks have flown the coop. Bye, chickens! Bye, Mangatsika chicks! But what about this egg? I can't wait until this egg hatches so we can find out who's inside. So I wonder who's gonna hatch from that egg? Well, whoever it is, Sabu, Pretty soon, it's gonna start hatching. And whatever the creature, they all hatch in the same way. First, they break out of the shell. And like a snapping turtle does, they fight, and when they finally get out, they're off and on their own, ready to take on the world. Some snakes, like a boa constrictor, get a little help from mom. She watches over the eggs as each baby snake makes a slit in the egg with her egg tooth and slowly unwinds out of the shell. But who could be in this egg? Duck! Nope, it's not a duck egg. Duck! I'm telling you, it's not a duck egg. Duck! duck! Hi, Sticky Feet. You missed the greatest thing. Baby chicks hatched from an egg. From an egg! Oh. Forgot, you're a bird. And most birds raise chicks every year. So he's probably seen a lot of eggs hatch. Hatch, yeah, hatch. <laughs> it's a message from Jackie. We came here to go swimming yesterday, but instead we did something even better. You see, salmon come here to lay their eggs and we didn't want anyone to disturb them. We got some rope and put it around so people wouldn't cross the river there. And we even put up a sign to let people know. Hey, why don't you guys cross the bridge over there? Salmon are laying their eggs here. Look. What a great animal helper. Munga Zika, not just birds come from eggs. Martin, Chris, look, the egg, it's hatched. Martin, Chris, it's hatched. What is he? An alligator, of course. Alligator. Alligator. Where's Alligator's mommy? You're onto something. Alligators are one of the few reptiles that need their mom after they hatch. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What are they thinking? We have to get this baby alligator back to his mom. To the swamp. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. Are you ready? Let's go. You forgot! <laughs> hey, you're the reason we're going on this trip, little guy. Well, he's moving fast. <laughs> Thanks, Zob. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming Come on, little alligator. Let's get you back home to the, the wild. I got your pack, Chris. See you later, alligator. <laughs> we have to find this baby alligator's mom. But you know, a mother alligator can be one of the most dangerous creatures in the world. However, she's not dangerous at all. As long as you give her space, you don't get too close to her nest, and you don't pick up her babies. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We better get this baby alligator home, and quick. OK, alligators always build their nest near the water. So let's hit the water. Hang <laughs> on, <Not> Chris. <laughs> Swamps are one of the best creature habitats. There's plenty of water, plants, and food for all kinds of creatures. Check it out. Pink flamingos. An animal. And birds like herons find lots of fish to eat here. Oh yeah, this is a great place to find creatures. A soft-shell turtle. What a smooth swimmer. Hey, and water snakes like cottonmouths love to live here. 
And in a swamp, you'll find alligators everywhere. Oh! <laughs> hey, Chris! Wait for me! <laughs> Nice polling, Martin. <laughs> Look at this. An alligator nest. An alligator mom buries her eggs under a mound of dirt, leaves, and grass. Then she packs it all in with her nose and feet. With the heat of the sun, the mound incubates the eggs. And all she has to do is stand guard until the eggs hatch. Once the eggs have hatched underground, the baby alligators call to their mom to help dig them out. <laughs> And then sometimes, she'll even carry her babies in her mouth down to the water and take care of them until they're big enough to be on their own. Think he's trying to tell us something? I don't think he's talking to us. Uh-oh! It's Mom! Remember what we said about giving an alligator mom her space? And not getting too close to her nest? And not picking up her babies? Back where you belong, living free and in the wild. Run! Whew, that was a close one. Yeah, but mission accomplished. We got the baby alligator back home to his mom where he belongs. And now it's time to head back to Animal Junction. Hey, Zabu, we found the alligator nest. Yahoo! <laughs> What are you doing, buddy? Oh, uh, I'm helping to hatch. The daddy bird went looking for food, and I'm sitting on these huge eggs. Hm. Yeah, they're emu eggs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping them warm, 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 so they'll hatch, hatch, hatch. Hmm. Oh, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! What's with him? It's the eggs. They're hatching. Manga Zika, look at them. chicks have to hatch by themselves. But after that, they won't be alone because dad takes care of them. Look at how their eyelids come from the side and not from the top like ours. Oh yeah, when they blink it goes whoop, whoop. That is really neat, I never noticed that before. They like to huddle together right after they're born and keep each other warm. Hey, they're going to sleep. This reminds me of another time I met Zaboomafuasaurus in Zabu land. <laughs> I was sleeping along. Sleep, 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 sleep. <sighs> when all of a sudden. <sighs> hey, Zabu! Are you sleeping? <sighs> I'm not sleeping anymore. Margaret, I'm all alone. Can you puppy sit me? Maybe, if you're a puppy. Uh, I'm a dinosaur puppy. Okay, then I'll <laughs> dinosaur puppy sit you. Uh, do you want to chase my tail, Zabu? Uh, I'll chase it before you can say Zaboomafuasaurus. Zaboomafuasaurus. I got you. Well, let's see if you can hang on. I can hang on. Oh, hi, Zabu. Hi, Noggin Drill. I th Ow. Oh, watch your hand. Oh. I think I need some help taking care of baby Zabumafuasaurus. Well, maybe you should call his mom. Great idea. Hey, Mom Zabumafuasaurus. Hi, Zabu. Mommy, huh? Zabu took care of me. Thank you, Zabu. So we hopped on board and had a nice ride. Ah! Home. <laughs> the end. There sure are a lot of great creature moms around, aren't there? Me too, remember? <laughs> <laughs> you too, Sob. <son. laughs>
I think your dad's leaving, baby chicks. Bye, emus. High five. Yeah. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. Swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. Yeah. yeah. Bye, brothers. Bye, Zavu. See you, Zav. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, my name's Kai, and this is my pet hamster, Sarah.